Welcome back to Las Vegas. Now, you know, as people get older, arthritis can sneak in and really affect your joint function. I spoke to a Southwest medical doctor about the proper treatments to keep your joints feeling and moving their best. Take a look. Just start with the basics of what arthritis is and, and how it affects the body. Sure. Um, arthritis is inflammation of the joints. Really, the end stage of arthritis is once that cartilage is completely worn away as a result of the inflammation or the, tra or the trauma, but as a result of the inflammation causing bone to rub up against bone. Probably the simplest way that I can explain it. But it can affect any joint um, in the body. Anywhere where two bones come together it is a source where arthritis can attack. Ooh, my knees. My knees are hurting just listening to that. Yeah, <laughs> so knees is very common. Knee arthritis is very common. Yeah. Um, the hip arthritis is common. The weight-bearing joints, it's probably more common in the, in the joints that, that bear weight. We walk on those. Right, right. And, and what about age? Does it yeah, matter? It, certainly age-related. We see uh, higher uh, rates of arthritis, uh, symptomatic arthritis in the older population, for sure. Absolutely. So what are the medications or therapies that people should, should look into if they're having arthritis? So looking at uh, anything that can decrease inflammation. Mm -hmm. uh, could probably help make the joints feel better. Now there's, you know, there's multiple uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications that uh, things like ibuprofen, uh, Aleve, um, prescription, those are over-the-counter examples. Um, there's a, there are topical anti-inflammatory medications that are now available over-the-counter like Voltaren gel. Um, then there's prescription anti-inflammatory medications like, uh, for example, Celebrex or Meloxicam, um, uh, Indomethacin. There's a, the whole range of medications that, that we can choose from as in, in the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication class. Other than that, there are certain um, uh, keeping the, your weight under control. You know, obesity definitely increases the amount of inflammation in the body, which in and of itself can cause joints to hurt. Um, and then there are certain foods that are pro-inflammatory. There are certain supplements that are anti-inflammatory. So I think diet and lifestyle is also a big part of a joint health and decreasing the chances of, of having symptomatic and painful arthritis. Also, surgery is an option. What are those options? Joint replacement is where we resurface the end of the joint. We put a new surface on where the cartilage is worn away. And those procedures in the hip and the knee uh, can be uh, life-changing. Um, and I see multiple extremely happy patients every time I'm in clinic that have undergone these procedures, and um, they're full of gratitude. They feel like they've got their life back. Um, so when they're done in the right person at the right time, they're incredibly effective and cr incredibly valuable. There's definitely things that the patients can do to improve their outcomes, and there's things that we can do as surgeons to improve outcomes. It's definitely a partnership. You can find Optum Care Orthopedic and Spine on West Oakey Boulevard. For more information, just call 702-724-8877 or simply visit OptumCare.com. We'll be right back.